Hello, welcome to another video. I have an integration problem here that at first might look daunting, but as soon as you realize that you could rewrite this expression in another way, then you see that there's actually no work to do. Okay, before we go on, please remember to like this video, share it, and leave a comment in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, please be subscribed. And so, let's get into it. The first thing you're going to notice is that everything else looks familiar except for the hyperbolic sine, which I like to call shine x, and hyperbolic cosine, which I like to call cosh x. Okay, we really don't work with this all the time, but if you're taking calculus too, you, could rem you would know that you have to know how to write this. However, from your pre-calculus days, you know how to write sine um, hyperbolic sine x and hyperbolic cosine x. Once you can write them in the form of e to something, then you know that you can work with e. To, in fact, it's easier to do integration that has to do with hyperbolic sine and hyperbolic cosine than just working with sine and cosine. It's even more complicated if you were, if it were just sine or cosine. So what I'm going to do is we're going to note that hyperbolic sine is basically e to the x minus e to the negative x divided by 2. And I know that hyperbolic cosine is e to the x plus e to the negative x divided by 2. So these two terms here, if I add these two together, I know that hyperbolic sine of x plus hyperbolic cosine of x, if I add this to this, guess what I'm going to end up with? Just imagine, both of them will have it to be over 2, so if I add this to this, I'm going to end up with e to the x plus e to the x minus e to the negative x plus e to the negative x, and these two will cancel out, so I end up with just e to the x plus e to the x, and that gives me 2e to the x over 2, which is equal to e to the x. So I know that hyperbolic sine of x plus hyperbolic cosine of x is just e to the x. Now this is just pre-calculus knowledge and that's what makes this exercise a little bit more complicated. Otherwise, this expression here is the same thing as the integral from Let's move it down from negative pi to 2 of pi e to the x divided by e to the x dx. This is the same thing as this. And I can cancel this out so that what I have left is equal to, let me put this here, the integral from negative pi to 2 of just pi dx. That's it. And we can integrate this, and this is the same thing as, well, if I integrate pi, what do I get? I get pi x. Just br bring back the x. It's going to be pi x evaluated from negative pi to 2. And what does that give me? Well, if I plug in 2 here, it's going to be pi times 2 minus negative pi. Well, that gives me pi into 2 plus pi. This is the integral we're looking for. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye. 